Hey there everyone, this is Chef MKT, and welcome back to Let's Play Toho Card Monsters! Where's the Pachilli Mouse Cursor? There you are. Okay, so where we last left off, we were exploring the Scarlet Devil Mansion because we just started a new game. And now we need to finish off that exploration quest. However, I just want to mention one thing here. There is a vending machine here where you can import codes. Now, I don't know what any of the codes are, and I don't care for it, because apparently the codes here will give you access to an extra dungeon, and quite frankly, I'm probably not going to do it. Anywho, so let's go take a quick look at what we've got so far. We've got some lovely cards here. Okay, so first things first. I want to concentrate my badges on my two new recruitments, so I have a fairy mate here. Let's increase her MP pool, as well as her HP pool. Lovely. And we got ourselves a plant here, so this plant is going to be using physical attacks. So let's put on the badge of strength to increase its attack power further. Cool. Now I just need to make sure that those two are the first ones in battle. And now we are ready to rock and roll. And just for this area here, I'm probably going to use Ramu, just because, because I used Marissa in the previous video. Just want to mix it up a bit, you know? Alright. So let's go finish off exploring the mansion. What goodies are in store for us here? Who knows? Alright. Um, what's over here? Uh, nothing here. Oh, there's an enemy over here. Oh, there's one here too, but there's also a badge. A magic badge was obtained. Cool, let's check it out. So what this badge does, is that it increases your magic attack a little bit. So let's put that on the Fairy Maid. Yeah! Plus 10 magic attack? Ho! Oh. oh, by the way, I should probably explain the status screen there. Alright, so let's go back a little bit. Okay. So, over here, as you can tell, we have stats. So we have HP, MP, uh, we have the species of the enemy here. So this is physical attack. Magic attack, speed, uh, physical defense, magic defense, and evasion. So it's very basic. And then finally, we have resistances to all the attack types in the game. So we have fire, ice, lightning, light, dark, mystic. Then we have slash, pierce, and blunt for our weapon types. So as you can tell from here, we do not have an earth element in this game. Lovely, because earth was... Mostly useless until you got a certain Shikigami in Jensen Moroku. Anywho, I think over here just loops back to the first room if I recall. So let's just take out these guys and check out what Rabbit has to offer. So this is Star... This is Star Blade. And this is Star Hand. Okay, not much difference there. But I think this is a physical attack. This is a magic based attack. So let's use that. Uh, blast this with lightning, and then that's paralysis. Well, it can cause paralysis rather. Pew pew pew, that's dead. Pew pew pew, yeah. Alright, let's blast down the fuzzball and get on with the show. Wow, that plant does a lot of damage, yo. And we got ourselves another ice snake, cool. Alright, so, oh wait wait, let's go back here because we got ourselves the Blasty out, the Blasty Amulet. Let's check out what's up here. Um, oh a bat. Let's kill the bat. Kill the bat. Ow. Oh, right. The plant is weak to slash attacks, so I need to be very careful about that, huh? Oh, well, whatever. Blast him, blast him, blast him. Alright. Moving on. Oh, got a bat! Aha! Now, as I mentioned before, you can ha only have a maximum of six monsters in your deck, but now I have seven. So, I need to show you guys how to change out monsters. So, if we go to the deck, uh, the deck option here, then select your deck, what you can do here is you go to the second option here, that allows you to edit your deck. Alright. So what you can do here now, is you can switch out monsters. Isn't that great? 
So if I want to replace this guy here, or this guy here, with something else, I select it, and then select what I want to replace it with, and put it there. Easy, right? Totally easy. Alright, moving on. Boopity boopity boop. What's up here? We have stuff up here. Stuff is good. Um, nothing much to see here, but we do have a Sunflower Fairy in the massive position. But that also means we cannot recruit it. Sad face. But that's okay. Maybe we can recruit it later on. And I keep saying recruit. I don't know why. It's a Gen Soul Miracle thing. Oh, look at that. Paralysis activated and it only lasted one turn. Oh, well, whatever. Kill it. Really gain one HP. Get out of here. Alright. What's over on this side? Nothing at all. Okay. Oh, I remember you from Gemstone Morocco. You were actually very useful with your plus honor drop rate. But I do want that fluff ball there. You can recruit the fluff ball. I did recruit this when I was playing this earlier. And yes, I did play a little bit of this before I started recording. So I could figure out what the heck this game was all about. And I wasn't going to derp around like an idiot. So I do somewhat know what I'm doing, but not by much. <laughs> There's a little bit of room for error here. And my plan almost died. I was close. Nah, didn't get another recruitment. Oh well, maybe next time. That's probably the one annoying thing about this game is the recruitment rates. I don't know what they are. Maybe it's rare, maybe it's not. I don't know. But that also entails grinding. Sigh. Well, enough dilly-dallying. Let's check out what's on the right-hand side of the mansion. Ooh, I see a chest there. I want that. And over here, we have a door. And it looks like I cannot open the door, so I probably need a key. Hey there, buddy. Ooh, another Fluffball. Let's see if I can recruit this. Did not recruit Fluffball. Oh well. Maybe third time's a charm. Ooh. Ooh, there's some stairs there, but there's something down here as well. Apparently more stairs are down here. Alright. Oh, that's how you get the chest. Good. A badge of a change badge or a transformation badge. Cool. This is the fun part of the game. This is where it gets a little bit complicated. So, what this basically entails you to do is you have a cool badge. And this badge is very important. This allows you to transform your monster cards into other things. However, there may be restrictions on them. So, first thing you do is you just put the badge on the card and see what it does. Nothing, okay? This one, nothing. Okay, next one, nothing. Plants, okay, now we have a change. We now have transformed our plants into a mushroom. Isn't that cool? That's cool, right? It's actually pretty cool. Because if you look at the stats here as well, 30 HP, 59, 40 in attack, 20 attack. Yeah, so that's cool. So you can get stronger cards this way by using the transformation badge. So let's check out the bat as well. Ooh, I got a green bird. Nice. Alright, so... Yep, that's the basics of the transformation badge, but there is other complicated things associated with this badge as well. But we'll get, get to that in a second. So I'm going to transform my... Because I transformed my plant into a mushroom, I guess. Might as well. Gives me more HP. Allows it to tank a little bit more. So there's a less chance of it of dying. Alright, so blasty blast. You're probably weak to fire. And what attacks do you have? So this is a single target poison. This is a four screen sleep. Wow. Alright, let's poison that guy. Poison? Poison! Didn't work. What a shame. That's okay, it's already dead. Get out of here. Boop. Lovely. Level 5 Ramu. And I've got ourselves another plant. Nice. Alright. Alright, so let's go to our deck. I want to replace one of my fire, fire lap potions with another plant. Good. Alright, moving on with the world, let's see what else this mansion has to offer. 
Anything down here? Maybe? What's up here? Another enemy? Okay, no worries. What's over here? It's a chest. Gimme. We got ourselves the key, guys. Really, game? You want to give me a tutorial that the key opens the door? Okay, sure, why not? <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a new enemy. Okay, let's take it out. Boop. Uh, boop. And... Uh, boop. Ow. Blasty blast. Okay, you're weak to light attacks. That is good to know. That mushroom does a lot of damage. Wow, I recruited that already. That's cool. Alright, let's change it up again. Uh, let's get rid of the fire lamppost guy. We'll replace all that. And just for funsies, I want to check out if it can transform. Does it transform? Oh, yes it does. And that is a pretty strong monster for this part of the game. I think I might keep this. So if you take a look at the stats here. Oops. If you take a look at the stats here. It is very resistant to all elements except for lightning, but is weak to pierce. Not only that, it has a lot of HP and attack power, and is very speedy. So I think what I want to do is I actually want to bring this badge to this guy. Yeah. Alright, so let's um, change up my starting party. Fairy Maid and Octopus. Mechanical Octopus. Let's go! Oh, a Diose battle. Okay, let's do this. Uh, blast that guy. Snake should be weak to ice, so blast you. So what attacks you have? You have a regular attack? What does this do? Biotechnology. Um, I think that pierces magic defense, I'm not quite sure. Uh, what does this do? Oh, this is Tentacle. So this... Oh, yeah. So this attack is very inaccurate, but when it does hit, it does massive damage. And finally, we have a buff. Which increases your invasion for 6 turns. And it raises your, your invasion by 30. Wow. I actually might use that first. Haha! -ha! Now, physical attacks has less chance of hitting me. Yep, Snake's dead. Plant, plant guy's almost dead. Kill. Heal up my fairy maid. Kill you. And you know what? Let's chance at Tentacle the Diose. That missed. <laughs> Big surprise. Get out of here, plant guy. Alright, blast you. Blast your lightning, why not? And let's chance it again with Tentacle. Let's do this. Missed again. Something tells me that Tentacle isn't that good in this game. Oh, well, whatever. Blast you, and you're weak to lightning. I saw that. And let's use Biotechnology. Oh, it's that attack. Okay. That didn't do that much, though. Oh. Okay. Whatever, you're dead anyway. Lovely. Oh, I didn't get any recruitments, though. What a shame. Nothing up here. Alright, let's head back down then. Uh, I guess all, all that was up here was a key. Well, I suppose that's pretty important, because I do want to open that door. Oh yeah, got ourselves a snake. Beautiful. You know what, I want to put that in my party too, because I have two plants in my party now. That's a bit redundant. Um, oh yeah, here. Boop, boop. Get rid of plant, replace it with a snake. Cool. Now, just... Just to double check, does that also transform? Yes it does, it transforms into a frog. Mm. Oh, it has clearance, so that heals status effects. Oh, that's rather tempting, that is rather tempting. But I think I'll keep my mechanical octopus guy, because he is a pretty good baller. Alright, let's go head back down, open that door. Down we go. Um, wait, was there something down here? Or maybe there was something over here. What's it down here? Um, I forget. Let's just go down one of the stairs. 
Oh yeah, that was that chest there. Okay, never mind. I'm just being a jerk. Alright, let's go open that door. Open sesame! Pink! That was a pretty cool um, key sound there. Uh, more crystals there. Ha! Take- Ah! Damn it! I screwed that up. Alright, let's take care of these guys and continue onwards. Boop! Um, boop! Haha, you missed! Hooray for evasion! Actually being useful for once. Stop that! Get out of here! Boop! Boop! And boop! Oh, that actually hit, and that did a crap load of damage. That was cool. Alright, moving on. Nothing up here. Okay. No recruitments there either. Oh, well. That's okay. Get out of here. Alright, so what do we have here? Aha! We have our first boss battle, and a shortcut portal. So basically that just allows you to teleport directly to where that portal was, saving you from walking all the way back there. Isn't that lovely? Oh, so lovely. Alright, so before we take on Saki, I just want to check out my party. That's looking okay. Yep, that's all the badges I have, so I'm using all of them, that's good. Um, I probably want to keep Ramu in my party so I can heal. And then from here, I want to change up my starting party. I want to save my fairy mate for later. What I want to do is maybe use my snake first, possibly. Yeah, that's probably what I want to do. Okay. So snake and octopus guy. Let's do this. Hi there. It's Asakiya. How you doing? Hello. Good, good afternoon to you. It is not afternoon, it is the morning. Oh, my bad. You and your technical... Your technicalities, Miss Time Maid. Jeez. Well, whatever, let's battle. And as you may or may not can tell, the theme is uh, Utsuho's theme, so that's kind of neat, I suppose. Alright, so first things first, we need to take out these guys, so let's take them out. Boop. Um, you know what? This might be a bit of a problem. <laughs> I just realised that my snake's weak to slash attacks, and these guys probably have slash attacks. That's okay, I have evasion boost. Evasion boost, let's go! Yeah, what now? Can't touch this. Get these guys out of here. Get rid of that guy. Get rid of that guy. Poke that guy. Oh, well, we know Sakia uses slash attacks now, don't we? Get out of here. Uh, boop you. Uh, get rid of you. Actually, I want to try and poison Sakia. Let's try to poison you and attack you. Alright, good. Not bad damage. That didn't poison though, that's a bit of a shame. And my snake is put to sleep. That's going to be a bit of a problem, so let's switch it out. This is just like Pokemon, you know? <laughs> um, I probably want to use the Fairy Maid here now. So that's a Demon type, so it's probably weak to light, so that should kill it. Switch it out. Lovely. Get this guy out of here. Ouch. Oh dear. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So that should be now dead. I can heal up, but I don't want to. But I should. Let's heal up. And let's try to use Tentacle on Sakia. Ooh, there goes my fairy mate. Ah, that's a bit of a downer. But you can't touch me, so that's fine. Oh, we have a beetle. Okay, did not expect that. Um, shoot, what else do I have? I have this. Whatever that is. Pop you out, and pop, might well pop the bug first. Oh yeah, this is a plant. Get out of here. <laughs> that evasion boost is so good. So useful. Oh, it ran out though. And I'm running out of MP for this, so I should probably save them for heals now. 
Alright, attack you. Um, attack you. Good. Ouch. Excellent. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> Alright, where's... Well, I can some of this. Uh, attack you. Attack you. Oh, there's... There's my ice snake. I should have summoned that first. Oh, well, too late now. Alright, so let's start whacking away at Sarkia. Pump you and evasion boost. Why not? Just in case. Thank God for the evasion boost. Blast you to oblivion. That's going to do like crap all damage, so I'm going to switch that out for this guy. For that. Whack you and whack you. Good. Good, good, good. And my back got put to sleep as well. Freaking fantastic game. Well, whatever. I just need to attack you, so I should be... Should be good. This battle is now done. Oh, you have, um, Nosedive. Cool. That's a pretty fast attack. Jill. Yeah, 9 damage. In your face. One more round should do it. Take her out. Assuming my octopus didn't miss. Uh, resummon snake or not. And that should now be done. Really, octopus guy? You're gonna miss again? Ugh. This game. This game. There we go. And now my snake's awake. Yay! Lots of XP. Rainbow level 6. Oh! We got ourselves a fairy warrior! Yes! How lucky. Alright, so Sakia has now been defeated. Now come join us, because that's the way Rami rolls. Just like in every other RPG ever. Lovely. Sakia gets. Alright, so we got ourselves a Darkness Badge. A Light Badge. And another Transformation Badge. Cool. Alright, so let's get out of here, check those out, as well as Sakia. And then we'll probably call it an end to the video. And that was IRC beeping. Who the hell is beeping me? Sorry about that. Anywho, so there was no information gathered about the villain that attacked us in the Scarlet Devil Mansion. Hi there, Aya. Oh, how convenient. You seem to have a wealth of information. Please do share with us your information. Yes, quite. Don't you just love gathering information, Aya? Oh, yes, you do. Alright, she's off. Getting information. Alright, open up a new area, and that appears to be Haku Yoga Town. We shall go there next. However, I want to check out a couple of things first. Uh, I want to change my deck. Deck change. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here's a couple of things that you probably want to know about this. Change out the bat for the fairy. Fairy warrior. Okay. So here's the next stage of badges. If you put two badges next to each other, you can get a bonus if it's the same type of badge. Or, if you have a specific combination, it may give you a different type of bonus. So here's the fun part about this game that makes it really cool. If you put a transformation badge, and then something else next to it, it may also transform the monster card into something else. Unfortunately, I don't have anything that does that yet, so I can't show you that as an example, but maybe later on. However, I do want to see if the transformation badge works on the fairy warrior. Oh. Oh hell yeah, it does. And you know what else it does? Check this out. The attack damage boost, check it out. That is massive. Oh my jeebies. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, I got myself a really good start it seems. So I want to put the attack boost on this guy. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, so that just explains what I just talked about with the transformation badge. If you put a transformation badge next to something else, a different type of badge, it may give you a different transformation. So that's all that says there. Um, is that all I want to do here? I think that's all I want to do here. Alright, excellent. Let's check out Sakya and call it a day. That's not Sakya. That's Sakya. Okay, so you have pretty good physical attack, good magic defense, pretty speedy, 
and they have Falcon Slash. Hell yeah! So I'm gonna I'm going to use her for the next video. All right, so I'll see you guys next time, whenever that may be.